In this video, we are going to show the basic functionality of Game Textures Toolkit Unity Extension. We will cover getting your favorite Game Textures content into Unity. First, let's start by going to the Game Texture Store. I already have this one preset, but I'm going to download the Rocky Ground with Grass. We'll click on the Download button. Unity, Metallic, and I'm going to change my resolution to 2K for this example. I'll hit Download. It'll do my quick download right here. I already have it pre-saved. Um, we're going to move over to the toolkit, and we're going to make sure our workflow is PBR Metallic, since that's the one we downloaded from the store. We'll check Create Material. Um, it'll create a, a base material on import. I'll go to Import Material. I'll go to my folder on my desktop, Rocky Ground with Moss, and you'll see this GTEx file. This is our proprietary file that helps us tell us what to do with the textures for this asset. I'll hit Open. It'll take some, a couple seconds to, to import all the assets. And you'll see there's a, a folder here that just got created called Game Textures. And inside Game Textures, you've got Materials and Textures, where it's nested, uh, the Rocky Ground Textures with all your content, pre-set up how we need it to be for using in Unity. We've also got a material right here, Rocky Ground, preset, pre-plugged in with all the texture inputs. I'm going to show you a quick example of how to use it. I'm going to drag it to the plane. Let's scale this. UVs down by two. We've got a nice sweet texture here. Um, you have the option to invert your roughness. If, if for whatever reason you have a, a flipped roughness map, uh, you can multiply the roughness value. I like just keeping it at one. Um, you can multiply the ambient occlusion. Keeping it at one is probably the best option, but you have that control. You can invert the normal direction if needed. And you have the emissive multiplier if emissive is used, which right now it's not. Now, we have parallax mapping as well. Let's enable that, and we can adjust the parallax mapping height. You can see it adjust. You don't want to go too far because that looks really gross. But let's go just enough to make, make some sense. And there you go. Sweet, easy import. But let's do something even better. Right now, we have a batch import material. This works. Now, let's take a file here. Go to my desktop. I have a, a batch test preset up. It's got a bunch of texture sets. I'll, I'll show it in here. You got three different sets of GTEx. Now, the way batch works is we use the root folder where all the GTEx files are located, and we hit, hit select folder. It'll bring in all of those at once instead of one at a time. This is really great when you have a huge collection that you need to import. It'll take a little bit longer just because of the, the sheer number of textures it's importing in. But you'll see after it's all said and done that we've got the three new materials that I've imported in. We can take a peek at them real quick. We've got brick. Let's scale that down. It's pretty big for the camera. We've got brick. We've got the sweet rock, which looks really great when you add parallax. And then another random stone. We can scale that one down. Looks really great too with parallax. And that's the, the ease of use for using our Game Textures Toolkit to import your favorite Game Textures content.